get pumped up for example two. Woo! All right, let's go. Okay, so the vertex point. Sorry. The demon cat's got me. Ah! Okay. So the vertex point, that is the H. Oh, man, that got me bad on this one. Sorry, guys. That's supposed to say K. Wow. That is highly embarrassing, which right now, I cannot find my eraser. Oh, no. I'm just all over the place. Sorry, guys. Well, I can't find my eraser at the moment. I just had it, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so this is supposed to be a K. Sorry. K. Be a really weird-looking K. That's a K. Okay, just go with it. Okay, but anyways, this is the H and the K. Okay, the H is whatever's added or subtracted to the X, but you have to flip the sign. So if it's minus 2 in here, it's actually going to be a positive 2 here. Okay, and then the K value is whatever number is added or subtracted on the end. And you don't flip the sign or think the opposite with the K. So the K is going to be a positive 3. So guess what, you guys? I already know that my vertex point is at 2, 3 on my graph. So this is my vertex. Okay, and then the A value tells me if the graph faces up or down. Okay, so let's see what happens with that. Okay. So, the A value is the number right in front of the equal sign before the parenthesis, which in this case is one half. So, the A value is one half, and is one half a positive or negative number? Hmm. It is a positive number. I know it's a fraction, but fractions can be positive. So, that means it's greater than zero, which means when A is greater than zero, it's positive so we think happy right positive people are happy so positive graphs happy graphs have a minimum so this one's going to have a minimum okay so when we sketch the graph i know that since it has a minimum it will be facing upward so my graph Again, it's not very accurate, but I know it's going to look something along the lines of this. So there you go. And guys, it's very important to name your graphs. Okay, graphs deserve names. Okay, so make sure you guys name your graphs. My cat right here will be very offended if you don't name it. Babette will be very unhappy. So you guys better name your graph. So my first graph, I completely forgot to name. My first graph, since my cat's here, I'm going to name it Babette. Babette. Okay, and then my other graph, I'm going to name it after my other cat, which is named Penny. So we have Penny and Babette. Make sure you guys name your graphs. It's very important. All right, there you go. Nice job.